everyone. The first shell find today is going to be uh, whatever this is. Um, I'm not quite sure what they are. I think this is maybe my third time finding one. They're a bit different to start us off. And uh, yeah, I'm back at Point Cartwright today for the first time in about two or three weeks. I've been avoiding it like the plague because of school holidays. So hopefully we find some good things now that the crowds have died down a bit. Well, oh my goodness, I am lucky today. There is a spotted prickly droop here. Oh, sorry, a prickly spotted droop. I think I say that the wrong way around. Ooh, that one's quite nice. Needs a bit of a clean up, but hey. Uh, I think this might be my third one in three beach visits. So, oh my God, I'm not usually that lucky with them. This big blue cowrie. I actually found out that you can pretty much only find these blue cowries in, uh, in uh, Papua New Guinea and along the east coast of Australia. So common for me, but kind of rare everywhere else. And a moon snail, empty. Gosh, I feel like I haven't found a proper moon snail in a very long time. Well, at first I spotted the little dove shell. There we go, pop of color. Uh, got a very nice little scale pattern on it. And then I just cast my eye slightly to the side and I see my next cowrie. Oh, yes, 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 it's a little cat cowrie. I've actually been finding quite a few of these lately, which I, which I love because they're amazing. It's a cone number one today. I think it's a little white cone with a purple tip on it. I don't quite know the name of these. I should really learn it and put it up on the screen. That's a nice one, just needs a bit of a clean up. Oh my god, I just saw it. I mean, how did I not see that before? Okay, I wasn't actually looking on this side of the rocks before. What? Ooh, it looks whole. Oh, it is whole. Wait, is that a... What? What's going on? It's like hard as rock. Did the, uh... Did the crustacean in it, like, calcify? Like, that's definitely not alive if, if that is alive. That's just like a, a big old rock. Look at this. It's a big old strombus some kind of strombus oh my god this is an absolutely lovely shape uh the pattern is worn away just a tad but oh my goodness once i get out whatever this like rocky stuff is that's gonna be a beautiful shell oh my god that could be the favorite already my gosh what's this oh are you alive no no empty yes Ooh, some kind of cream colored cone uh, I dare say not a crown cone, but ooh, like the striations on that. That's got some nice texture. Ooh, that looks like a big crown cone. Excuse me, are you alive? Ooh. Uh, no, <coughs> I was worried for a minute that it was. Gosh, that's a nice crown cone. It's actually quite big, I think. Ooh, very nice. Gosh, look at that sneaky thing just wedged into the sea sponge in the sand. Oh my goodness, look at this scallop. Wow, I think that might be one of my nicest scallops ever. Gosh, it's certainly got a lot of nice color and texture to it. Wow. Oh my God, it's a little teeny tiny textile cone. Yes, yes, you all yell at me to be careful. I will get my tongs, just wait a minute. Alrighty, that didn't wash away in the water, so let's carefully carefully oh it's oh it th i think it looks empty hold on let me get it up over here it's it's whole and hey there's just rocks in there awesome what a teeny tiny cutie patootie textile cone shell oh my god wow that's gonna put a sprig in my step for the rest of the day yep there's no goopy boy in there my goodness, lucky Maddie. Was this cowrie buried in the sand? It's a brown cowrie. I do rather like these clam shells. There we go, just another one that looks like a couple of chevrons on a white background. Very, very pretty. Oh my goodness, like for sure there isn't a crab in that, right? It wouldn't be sticking upside down like that if it was. Oh yeah, just sand in there, I think. Oh my goodness, look at that one. Definitely needs a clean up. Oh, it's actually got some pretty nice spikes on it um, beneath all that moss as well. Um, this one, I want to say, is a droop shell rather than a vase shell. At least that's what my uh, old seashell book says. 
Oh, well, I was looking at... Oh, no, no, it's just a, it's just a shell in there. Oh, my first snake of the day is nom 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 eating something. But gosh, that looks very nice. It feels smooth and glossy too. My goodness, that's a very good one. And I was also looking at something underneath it. Um, oh, there we go. A moon snail missing its tip. Oh, on top of a sea cucumber, I think. A rosa number one. There we go. Oh yeah, it just looks a little bit more orange on top. I like that. I see a dotty spotty cone down there and another rosa under that rock. So let's try the cone first. Oh, there we go. Here we go. Hehehe, <laughs> dotty spotty cone. Wow, that looks like a very, very nice condition one. Gosh, uh, we'll just put him, put him there for a sec. And uh, if I take this rock out of the way, I can maybe get to that arosa. Oh, wow, that is a very nice looking arosa. Yeah, I'm quite happy with this little deep dark hole. <laughs> arosa and a dotty spotty cone. There we go. Oh, over here I see a cowrie and a cone. Uh, the cone looks pretty nice. And what do we have here? What? It's a donkey? I thought for sure it was going to be a clandestine. My goodness, look at that cute little donkey. Wow, just absolutely love these little cowrie shells. Gosh, I'm having a good day, guys. Speaking of clandestines, I just spotted one down here. It's got a bit of a hole in it. Let's check him out. Poor little guy, but still, that's kind of cool. I don't mind it when clandestines are a little broken up. I think they're just gorgeous shells. Well, uh, I just happened to notice that under there. Oh, it's whole. Oh, it's empty. <laughs> Look at that one. What a big old Triton shell. I mean, at least I don't think there's anything in there. Certainly there's only sand coming out. I've had terrific luck finding tritons lately. I've got, I don't know what's going on. Oh, that's a rather nice looking snake head. Looks glossy, are you alive? Oh no, you're empty. Oh my goodness, this is a very nice glossy snake head. Oh wow, it's got like a very nice uh, lighter pattern on top of it. Gosh, that's my second really good snake head today. Oh my God. Oh, skip it up. Ooh, there we go. Yee-hee, there we go, another nice crown cone. I didn't have much hope for this hole until, do you see it right in the back? Little Hebrew cone. Let's grab it out. Oh boy. Oh, I can't see it. Ooh, where's my fingers going? Uh, there we go. It's, it's an empty one, yes! Little Hebrew cone, such a nice little shell. Although this one does look a bit old. Yeah, I definitely like it though. Oh my holy guacamole, Batman, has it happened? Has it actually happened? Oh, no! I really wanted to find my first Captain Cone, but gosh. I'm going to keep that anyway, you know. Wow, that fooled me. Ooh, that's a pretty dove shell. Let's take a look at him. Oh yeah, very nice. I do like these little pops of colour in the rock pools. Oh my gosh, that looks like something very big and nice. Are you whole? <gasps> yes! <gasps> Whoa! Yes, it is whole! Oh my god! It's a Curica Cowrie! I absolutely love Curica Cowries. Oh, bit of stuff in there. Wow, that's such a good one. It's got a pretty pale blue on top of it. Wow, super stoked. I'm having an awesome day today. This one looks very beautiful, just waiting for me. Kind of a blue or a brown cowrie. And I see a little white sand snail. Gosh, really love these little dudes. Hello, what cowrie are you? Oh, before the waves come. Oh yes, uh, it's a faded Labra Lanata. Yeah, I really like these ones. When they're not worn away on top, they've got all this like nice kind of white spots on it, orangish background. Woo, very nice shells. They're a bit uh, more uncommon for me. I really like them though. See me another kitty cat cowrie. What is that number two today? Oh my God. Yeah, definitely liking the cat cowries. Oh, 
look at that one. Just a nice kind of like chevron-y clam. I still don't know what these are called. Hey, that's a really nice one. Much bigger than the first one today. I don't mind collecting these at all. Here we go, one for the limpet lovers. Kind of a spiky one, actually. Uh, yellow brown with a bit of reddish purple in the middle. Kind of a nice limpet. Hey, even I like that one. I didn't think I was going to pick up another limpet after that first one, but gosh, my gosh, look at this one. Holy guacamole. I'm not going to lie, I kind of love this one. What? What? That's so cool. Well, okay, okay, one more, one more limpet because, boy, I kind of like this one as well. Look at that yellow and orange. I like these ones that are kind of like uh, like a bottle top. They're kind of a bit uh, pointy around the edge. That's really cool. Goes nice with my first one. Oh, that sneaky scallop was hiding from me in the sand. Boy, that's a very nice one too. What is that my third pretty scallop today? Yeah, I really like that one. Uh, I just picked this up. Is it, a, is it a prickly spotted drip before it grows the prickles? What a cute little one. It's so tiny. Ooh. I don't remember seeing a limpet like that before. Kind of got like two rings of like alternating colors. That's kind of cool. Originally, I saw this cat cow and I'm like, what? My, my third cat cowrie today. And then like right next to it. Oh my goodness. Yep. It's a grape cowrie. If my phone can focus on it, there we go. Yeah, not a bad one at all. I can feel the bumps. A little bit worn away on top, but gosh, the teeth of it look nice. I mean, they always do, but anyway. Oh, I've just spotted a very nice little Labralinata cowrie. A uh, common name, I think, is Lined Mouth Cowrie. My goodness, they just look so cool. Really love this cowrie. It's a little bit of an uncommon find for me, but gosh, when they're nice, they're nice, you know? Oh my goodness, lucky me, I see a little sand dial shell. Ooh, yeah, little orange one. I found a couple of black and white ones at Coolum. I've only ever found orangey colored ones here, so that's a bit unusual. A bean cowrie. There we go, if, my, if I can focus on it. Yep, almost, there we go. Well, here I am picking up micro shells off camera because I am the fun police. And look what I spot. A bubble shell. Ooh, oh, I dropped one of the micro shells. Ooh, boy. Woo, that's a very, oh, it's got a little crack in it. Oh, well, that's fine. It's a very big bubble shell. My goodness. Micro shells. Look at them. So here are the shell finds for today. And if you have enjoyed them, Please hit that like button and maybe subscribe to see more. But for now, let's pick a favorite. And I also want to hear which one was your favorite too. And my goodness, it's so hard to pick. First time at Point Cartwright in about three weeks because of school holidays. And suddenly, bam, look at all the treasures. How do I even pick one? Um, I do really like this Curica. Just love, love, love Curicas. I did find quite a lot of nice snakeheads and aroses. They all look very glossy. Some nice little shells as well, but the favorite is going to be, mm, you know what? It's going to be the big white strombus. I don't think I've ever found an intact strombus this large or, I don't know, this interesting before. It's just really cool. And yes, it doesn't feel glossy anymore. It feels pretty worn away, but God, it's just so cool. Like that shape, that shape is so awesome. So yes, for sure, this one is my favorite for today. Ooh, ooh, some things have fallen. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching everyone. Bye guys.